and welcome back. You're still watching Morning Live. Now, Johannesburg born Berlin based Candace Brits, FNB Art Prize winner, Taria Mangadlela, Anthea Moyes, Tenjuen Nikinkosi, and Tony Gum are some of the strongest names in contemporary art from South Africa and the diaspora that will headline the 2015 FNB Joburg Art Fair opening at the Saturn Convention Center on the 11th of September. The first international art fair on the continent plays a pivotal role in supporting the flourishing arts landscape in Africa and provides a space for leading artists, galleries, collectors, writers, thinkers and art lovers to congregate. Now this year's lineup includes 50 exhibitors from seven countries with South African art still the chief focus. Now tell us more about the 2015 edition of the FNB Joburg Art Fair. We're joined by co-director of the fair, Mantla Sveko. Good morning, welcome to Morning Live. Thank you very much. Sure. Let's start yeah. with what inspired the FNB Art Fair in the first place. Well, the FNB Art Fair is actually in its eighth year mm. in South Africa. Um, about eight years ago, uh, the founders of ArtLogic had um, realized that the South African um, community did not have a fair of mm. its kind, did not have a market for artists um, to sort of sell their work, to exhibit their work in the South African economy or in the African economy. So it was really inspired by the vision to start something that would create this platform for artists to be able to sell their work oh. and for consumers in the South African market to engage and enjoy. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about this year's art fair. I touched a bit on, that, on who's going to be there. Talk to us about who will headline this year's art fair. Look, um, the art fair has over 50 galleries um, from South Africa. The biggest galleries in the South African space attend. We have uh, over eight galleries that are coming from outside of South Africa, from the continent. It has become the biggest African contemporary fair in South Africa, in Africa, mm -hmm. for that matter. Uh, we have, as you said, Candy Braids, who is a South African-born artist who has gone very international, showcasing at the fair as a special project. We have a number of artists, including our winner this year, Turia Magadlela, who's won the FNB Art Prize for 2015. So there's going to be a very rich cultural experience. For the first time, we've taken the fair a very different direction. Mm -hmm. Instead of uh, focusing a lot more on, vi on, on visual artists, we've actually gone into three other genres. So there'll be quite a lot of performance mm -hmm. and quite a lot of um, video, uh, film, uh, as well as audiovisual. So we've also um, curated the experience, taken it to another level. Mm -hmm. There'll be a special amphitheater in the middle of the jo uh, in the middle of the um, convention center yeah. to showcase some of um, what we've prepared for um, for um, the South African consumers we um, have a an amazing art bar which is obviously with spin-off so the fair I think for the first time will really have a big international feel obviously embracing our surroundings Johannesburg and obviously the rest of the continent now you have um, exhibitors from internationally, Germany and Spain and United Kingdom. Yeah. Talk to us about that element of the fair. Well, um, over the years since the fair has started um, in 2008, is that there's been quite a lot of interest um, suddenly for African art. Yeah. So um, the exhibitors who are coming in are coming to showcase some components or trying to draw inspiration from South Africa to take back home. So uh, we're hoping that over the years the fair will get more people coming in from all over. We've always been of the vision that um, the fair should not be going overseas. It must go international in Johannesburg, attracting international galleries to come to South Africa and showcase their work. Now, there's also um, a talk program. Uh, talk to us about what subject will be explored in that and why the subject is worth talking about. There are amazing themes that are going to be explored. Uh, for, again, for the first time, we've put a lot of emphasis towards engaging on what is um, happening in South Africa culturally and what is happening uh, internationally. So we have a, vari a variety of speakers who are coming in. One of the highlights this year is actually getting uh, a photojournalist, Peter Badge, who has photographed over 450 Nobel Peace Prize winners. Um, to come to South Africa and talk about his experience and what it has meant to be in each of those Nobel Peace laureates' uh, homes, like people like um, 
um, Barack Obama, mm. and obviously in South Africa, Desmond Tutu, who he has photographed, and President F.W. de Klerk. So um, it's a really rich cultural experience. It will touch, I think it caters for everyone. The, the, the talks programs mm. uh, will cater for everyone. Um, we'll talk to issues around contemporary art, mm. what it means, um, uh, issues of identity for South Africans and Africans, and what it means for all of us. So, and also, we'll, there'll be components that uh, look at um, as much as we have quite an established, um, I guess, collectors or a buyer's market in South Africa, we actually have quite a new uh, emerging um, mm. market that is starting to consume art. Yeah. So we're going to be having elements that actually educate South Africans yeah. uh, around what it means to be consuming art and what it is to buy, you know? Oh. All right, Manda, thank you so much yeah. for talking to us. Thank you Manda very much. Manda Sbeka is the co-director of the FNB uh, Art Fair, uh, which uh, starts at the convention center uh, from the 11th to the 13th. Uh, this is lineup includes 50 exhibitors from seven countries with South Africa. Uh, South African art still uh, the chief focus of the fair. Let's take an air break. Stay with us.